Hello Concert Band and welcome to week five of doing band from home. This week we're going to do the same warm-up that we've done before and then we're going to work on page 16 in your Tradition of Excellence book. Also I've noticed many of you aren't watching the videos all the way through because last week I, I put a, uh, a little hint in to give you extra credit and I don't think anybody from Concert Band saw it. So that means you're missing out only, not only are you missing out on your extra credit, it, I can see your grades going down on your playing because you're not getting the instruction. You need to practice with this video, not just watch it and put it away. I'm doing this line by line so that you can concentrate on getting everything correct on each one of these lines. And it will make your test grades be a lot better at the end of the week. So I'll be back in just a moment after you've done your warm-up part and we'll begin with the traditions. For right now, we're going to be looking at fundamentals for band. So go ahead and get that up. Uh, I'll give you just a second. You can find it. You can pause the video and when you've got it, you can come back. Okay, we're going to look at find your page and we're looking at number two, long tones. On long tones, I'm going to set my metronome at 80 beats per minute and we're going to hold these notes full value and play through line two. So you can do that with me. I'll count you off. One, two, three. Now we can repeat that exercise a couple of times. Just rest for a few seconds between to let the blood get back in your lips and then play it again. For now I'm moving on to number 3.01 articulation. I want you to listen to me play this one time and count with me. Then the second time I want you to play with me. Okay, fingering count with me this time. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, now you're going to play with me this time. Here we go. One, two, three. couple of times until you get that even. Uh, if you have a metronome at home you should be able to get one on your phone if you don't have one and you can practice these without the video as well as with them. So now we're going to move on to 302 where we have 16th notes. We'll count this pattern 1 E and a 2, 3 E and a 4, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 and 4. I'll play it this time. I, I want you to think to finger with them and count out loud while I'm playing. Here we go. One, two, three. We can do that again. 
this time, I want you to play with me. So we get, get your horns ready to play. One, two, three. All right, you can repeat that as many times as you would like. Now, looking at number four, flexibility, the notes are going to be a little different in this for some instruments. You're going to hear me go lower when your notes are going higher, but your notes will still fit with what I'm playing. So, we're going to start out by playing this tongue, tonguing every note, but keeping it smooth and connected. There is a repeat at the end, so after a two measure break to let your lips recover, then go back and play the second time. So the first time, let's play this and tongue each measure. Here we go, everyone playing together. One, two, three. as you need to to get that even where you can slur each note in the brass where you can make those slurs without having to use your tongue and woodwinds to where your fingers are lining up and everything's coming out nice and smooth okay now let's look at number 5.01 the six note scale in B flat I'm gonna set my metronome at 90 beats a minute the first time we go through this I want you to finger and say the note names with me so let's do this one time through with you fingering and saying the note names. The first thing you always look at on this is the key signature. Here we go. Finger and say the names. One, two. <laughs> you to play along with me. Notice that I made it all the way through that on one breath. So you should be able to do the same thing. I'm going to slow it down a little bit so that you can get more, more of the notes. Then we'll come back later and play this again and you can pick up the tempo. So we're going to set it at 80 beats a minute and play through it together. Then you can come back later and play through with my first tempo or practice it with your metronome. Here we go. Play with me. One, two, number 5.02, the six note scale in E flat. I'll raise that back up to 90. So way I'll be able to go through it on one full breath. Finger along, say the note names, look at the key signature first. Here we go. 502, six note scale in E flat. Two, three, four, one. Slow it back down. I want you to play with me this time. 
Once again, once you've done it at a slower speed, take your method on, pick up the tempo. Here we go. Three, four, one, two. Now we're going to use line number 62 from page 15, I'm sorry, from page 14 in your tradition book every day as a little exercise to build the muscles in your lips. This is from two weeks ago. You can go back and, and look back at that video if you need to to see how it sounds. But we need to practice that every day to help build the muscles and it'll, it'll help your range improve and it'll help the flexibility a lot, be easier to go from one note to another. Just helps build things up. So we want to look at number 74. This is the first line on page 16. It's called Warm Up Chorale and it's a band arrangement. There's three different parts to this. Um, trumpets, clarinets, I know you have two parts, an upper note and lower note, and Everybody else in the woodwinds and brass, upper brass, have one or the other of those parts. And the low brass has something totally different. So I'm going to play this on three different parts. Two parts on trumpet and one part on trombone to cover all three parts. You can practice your line with the recording or you can play your line with somebody else's part to help you become more independent. Now this is number 74. This is the top note part if, if you have the split notes. So I'm, I'm going to play it. I want you to finger and count with me and then you can go back and play along. So finger and count. Look at the key signature first. C instruments. B flats, E flats, A flats, and D flats. Finger, finger those out. B flat instruments. B flats and E flats. E flat instrument, saxophones, B flat in your key. So make sure we're getting those flats. So finger and count with me one time and then play along the next. Ready? Here we go. Top notes. One, ready, now. You can re rewind that recording back and play along with it and finger along how many times you need to. This time I'm going to play the lower notes. So if you have lower notes, finger along with me. If not, just finger along with your part. Here we go, the lower notes. One, ready, now. <laughs> split parts in the, in the upper woodwinds and brass and we also have the low brass part so low brass finger along with me ready look at your key finger with me one finger count now <laughs> and change mouthpiece sizes. So you can play that back with me again. You can play whichever part you have along with any of the three parts that I just recorded and that will give you a chance to play not only with the note that you're seeing on your page but to play along with other parts. Now let's look at line 75. Uh, theme from the Barber of Seville. 
We want to look at the key signature here. C instruments, trombones, flutes, baritone, bells. You have B flat. So finger that B flat. And that tells us that since we only have B flat, that all of our E's are E naturals and all of our A's are A naturals. Clarinets and trumpets are B flat instruments. You have F sharp in your key, second finger, and that tells us that all of our B's are natural. We can't mix flats and sharps. And saxophones, you have F sharp and C sharp. So let's uh, let's look at this. Look this over. We're going to break this up into small parts. And if we'll look at the first five notes, we'll notice that those first five notes are repeated three times at the beginning. So that gives us a large chunk of this already with just five notes. So let's say the note names and finger the first five notes. Ready? Rest. Name, 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 name. Making sure we're in the key signature and that we have A naturals for C instruments, that we're playing B naturals for uh, the B flat instruments. We're using our C sharps for saxophones. We're not leaving out those accidentals. So, now, I'm going to play. I want you to count with me. So we have rest, and four, and one, and rest, rest, and four, and one, and rest, rest, and four, and one, and... So, I want you to, I want you to count and finger while I play that. Ready? Here we go. I'll give you three. Count and finger. One, and two, and three. Two, three. Continues from there. But we want to work on those first three measures and get that worked out before we move on. We want to take this and work each one of these in little bitty sections, not the whole thing at a time. This is the way to really learn a piece and cut out the fumbles and the mistakes that I've been hearing in our tests. So now we've got that part worked out a little bit. Uh, so we're going to, we don't count the pickup notes as a measure. We start on the first full measure, second full measure. We're going to start on the third full measure and do that down to the rest. So we have one and rest, and three and rest, and one and two off. So finger and count that with me. Ready? One and two and ready now. One and two and three and four and one and two off. You count and finger while I play. This is the third and fourth measures. One and two and ready now. Alright, now you play that with me, the third and fourth measures. One, two, third and fourth, now. Now, we're going to do the pickups to the second line starting on the end of three. So finger and count that with me. Ready? Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and rest and three and rest and one and two off. All right? So I'm going to play that. This is the pickup. So the second line, I want you to finger and count. Watch your key signature. Ready? One and two and three. <laughs> Alright, this time play it with me. Pick up to the second line. One and two and Alright, now we've put, got those two measures. We're going to look at the next measure and a half. So we're starting in the middle of the second measure on the second line and going through the rest of that measure and the third measure. So let's finger, ready, let's say the note names. We have name, 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 natural, name, 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 name. Notice we have four notes that are repeated over and over. We have the first note, then the second note, then the third note, then the fourth note, and then those same four notes happen again and again. With the, with the exception we don't go to the last one. But once we get those four notes, we have it. So for the C instruments there, we have D, C, B flat, A natural, repeated over and over. 
For the B flat instruments, we have E, D, C, B natural fingered over and over. And for the alto saxes, we have B, A, G, F sharp repeated three times. So let's make sure we got the right note. So let's say and finger those notes together. This is the second half of the second measure of the second line. Ready? And now. Name, 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 name. Okay. Now we count that. And four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So let's finger and count that together. Ready? Ready? And three. And four and one. And two and three. And four and. Now I'm going to play that much. I want you to finger and count. This is the, the, the end of three of the second measure of line two. Ready? One and two and three. <laughs> You play with me. Ready? Ready? And through. Alright, so we've got those two. Now let's look at our last two measures. The last two measures are just straight eighth notes. We have to have, just have to make sure we stay in our key signature. So let's say the note names and finger, the last two measures. Ready? Now. Name, 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 hold. All right, this time, let's finger and count. Here we go. Straight eighth notes. Fingering and counting. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one. Hold two, hold three, off. Okay, this time, I'm going to play it. I want you to finger and count. Last two measures of 75. One and two and ready now. This time you play those last two measures with me. Here we go. One, two, here we go now. All right, now we've done this in two measure sections. So now we're ready to put it together. So, the first time we go through this together, I want you to finger and count while I play. So we're going to go all the way through 75 with you fingering and counting. Let's look at the key signature again and make sure we're doing it in the right key signature. Here, I'll give you three. Finger and count with me. One, two, finger along with me and then we'll play it together so let's all let's all play together this time through number 75 I'll slow it down just a little bit and you can play along with me ready one and two and three Now we're going to look at number 76, the old brass wagon. This is your test that will need to be performed by Friday at 3.30. This flip grid will become available on Thursday morning around 10 o'clock. I'll activate it. So you need to practice this whole page leading up to your test and then do your test either Thursday evening or Friday. Uh, don't forget there was extra credit that I mentioned earlier in this video. Make sure you mention that extra credit when you record your test. 
When you record your test, I have to see your fingers, hands, and face, just like you're seeing mine while I'm playing along with these exercises. So let's look at number 76. In this, we have 16th notes. So to count 16th notes, as it shows you at the top of the page in the blue box, it says our 16th notes are counted 1 E and a, 2 E and a. So instead of a quarter note on the beat, we have four 16th notes. So let's look at the first measure of 76. We would count this 1 E and a, 2. Now, if we just say 1 E and a, 2, chances are we're going to start the second measure too early. So we want to subdivide beat two. And if we'll think and on the, on the and of beat two, that'll keep us from getting to beat to measure two too quickly. So we want to count this one E and a two and one and two and one E and a two and one and two and one E and a two and one and two and one and two and one and two. On those ands that I'm adding in, I'm not tonguing or changing a note on that. I'm just putting that in my head to help keep that even beat. So let's look at the first two measures. Let's finger and count. First thing we have to look at is the key signature. So our key signature for C instruments, finger with me, we have a B flat, an E natural, and an A natural. For our B flat instruments, F sharp and B naturals. For E flat instruments, saxophones, you have F sharps and C sharps in this piece. So let's finger and count the first two measures. Ready? Here we go. Finger and count measures one and two. Ready? Now. One E and a two and one and two and. Now, I'm going to play those first two measures. I want you to finger and count with me. Ready? Now. <laughs> Now notice I didn't play an, an and on beat two, but I said it in my head. That way I didn't get too quickly to the second measure. This time you play those first two measures with me. Ready? Here we go. Play it now. Now we're going to look at measure three and four. Measure three and four are counted just like measure one and two, just the notes change. We still have one E and a two and one and two and. So finger and count that with me. Ready? Here we go. One E and a two and one and two and. You finger and count while I play measures three and four. Ready? And now. All right. This time you play measure three and four with me. Here we go. One E and a two. Ready, begin. Now we've gotten two sets of twos. Let's go back and let's put those first four measures together. So let's say and finger the first four measures. Say the counts and finger, then we'll play them. Let's say, first time you count and finger while I play, then we'll play together. Here we go. One E and a two, finger and count. Now this time you play the first four measures with me. Ready? One E and a two. Here we go. Alright, now we already have half of this taken care of. So now we're going to look at the next two measures, measures five and six. Same rhythm as the first four, but the notes change. So let's finger and count. Ready? Five and six. Ready? Now. One E and a two. One and two and one and two and one, two. Okay, that was the last four measures. We're just going to do the measures five and six. So finger and count while I play five and six. Ready? And now. All right, now play that with me. Measure five and six. Ready? Now. Making sure we're in the right key signature. We're using the second vowels, second positions here. Now let's look at the last two measures. 
Fingering count with me. Ready? One and two and one and two. Staccato note means that that quarter note is the same as an eighth note followed by an eighth rest. So we have long off and. It's not real short. It still gets half of a beat. So finger and count the last two measures with me. One and finger count. Ready? Now. Okay, now play the last two measures with me. Horns are up. One and two and ready. Now. Okay, let's do the last four measures. Starting on measure five, finger and count. Ready? Measure five. Ready? Now. One E and a two. One and two and one and two and one and two. Off. Ready? Now let's play those last four measures. Two. Here we go. Now. Now, if you'll practice this test the way I've shown you, the way we've worked through this for, for a day or two, you'll do very well in, on your test. So now that we've worked it out in two measure and four measure increments, now we're ready to go through the whole thing. So I'm going to play it. I want you to finger and count and then we'll play together. On your test, we will not repeat just for the sake of time. So, you finger and count while I play. Measure set number 76. One, two, here we go now. Okay, now this time you play with me. Horns are up, check your key. One E and a two, ready, now. Alright, so that's your test for Friday. You can go over that as many times as you need. I would practice that every day for the whole week. That way, you really shouldn't have to hardly look at it. You should have it down well enough that you can almost play it from memory, that the music is just there to help you out. So, don't forget to tell me about the extra credit on your Flipgrid test, and keep practicing and have a great week.